I think we're 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 we're, we're, we're going live. I'm still checking YouTube. I think I think it should be good. Yeah, there we are. Good you watching uh, to the video on demand of our weekly reset live stream that we're still doing in 2023, even though uh, Ubisoft has uh, already moved on. They're preparing the next AC games while we're, while we are uh, annoying Reda here and hoping that uh, he has anything good. Thank you for joining. Happy Tuesday. Um, I already saw Greeker Gang say that as well. Creaker Gang, I should say. I, I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, yeah, Creaker Gang. Thanks for joining, as always. Uh, Descartes, good to see you, uh, too. So we're still going to continue with these streams every week. Maybe it will switch to another game. I mean, there are some awesome games coming. So uh, I might switch up uh, the games. But for now, there is still something I want to talk about. This is actually the final week that there will be something to talk about. Because, and we already kind of saw it last week, the uh, Advanced Mechanicals pack is now out. I want to showcase it here live. This, of course, the Iron Man armor that they, like, changed. Because, first, they had, like, a really cool Iron Man armor. You probably know what it looks like. It, it is also in the thumbnail. And now they were... Or, I'm, I'm still not sure what happened. I want to know. Like, did Marvel see the leaks and was like, What the heck, Ubisoft, what are you doing? Or did they, like, kind of notice that maybe everyone saw that it was an Iron Man inspired armor without them of course having the license so that's why they changed it uh, it's of course a helix set it's the final helix set I think we're getting for Valhalla it has a strider like horizon mount and some really cool weapons the weapons are not changed just like the uh, bird skin they did change the mount a bit uh, oh wow is that new like you you may also like the advanced mechanical ship pack do you want a gun on your ship that uh, doesn't work go ahead really looks like the Izu Knight uh, pack that we of course already had in a way so yeah let's uh, rock this I think it's like a very ugly set but I but some people are crazy you know and they're saying I like this more I like this more than the um, than the Iron Man armor like then, yeah, what it was before. And I'm like, you're crazy, but maybe you in the chat watching right now um, feel that as well. Cool, Ken. Are you German? Jawohl! No, I'm not. Marvel probably shut it down or Disney. I think so as well. I think so as well. Because like IGN, like a lot of big websites, um, yeah, just reported the news. And uh, yeah, on TikTok, uh, we went kind of crazy with it. So I'm rocking it with the hood, but I'm gonna like remove the always hood on feature so we can like properly look at the... I find it a pretty ugly helmet, but some people are like, no, this is actually kind of cool. I just don't know. I, I think the tiny eyes... I don't know. I like this better, to be honest. See, it, like... I... I think that's interesting. But yeah, the, the biggest change... And yeah, we still have the chain blade, so that's kind of cool. So what you're hearing... I think you're hearing it right now. We'll, like, shut up. I will turn up the volume a bit. And they can hear the chainsaw blade. Can we, like... And also, I put it away. <laughs> Kind of crazy. Okay, let's turn it down again. I found already a jumps Viking with that gear. Yeah, it, again, this this has leaked since like the Iron Man armor appeared or was leaked in August, I think. And uh, yeah, it never released, so we were all like, "What? Where is it?" Um, but yeah, we now know why because they changed it. Let's see if we can kill some chickens with our uni beam, which is now an eye beam. Okay, we did. But yeah, this is the effect now. So you have the uh, beam from the eye. Well, first, it was, of course, from the chest. So now you have the... We're burning chickens. She's like, oh no, my chickens! Burn, chicken, burn. Looks kind of... Okay, I know what we're eating tonight. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, that, that's the, the uni beam right now. Why are your weapon and armor blue? 
Dabba dee, dabba dee. What, what do you mean? I absolutely love the advanced mechanics. That Derek, more power to you. More power to you. Okay, let's see. We're gonna uh, play with these items, of course. Uh, so it also has a wide version, which I think I prefer. I, I like the wide version more. Uh, I, I, in particular, like the weapons. I think the weapons in particular. Let's go to stand here so we can... Oh, wow. Again, the, these have not changed. and They still have the colors from the previous Iron Man armor. And we got this uh, big sword as well. That I think looks pretty awesome as too. Kind of Warframe. Style. Okay, so we're gonna rock this armor. We're gonna kill some people with the laser beam. But first, Reda, what are you selling this week? Oh, damn. Dragon Knight figurehead. Oh, no. Wow, yes. Okay, so the, it's all crap, but the Silver Smasher is amazing. Okay, Dragon Knight figurehead. We're gonna buy that. When you can sail this sea, chariot. Yeah, you're right. Okay, beam lights calling down after three heavy attacks. That's pretty crazy. I wanna, I wanna show you that as well. So we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna put it in my main hand, and then of course we're gonna switch it up at one point. Let's see. Oh, you mean the blue uh, items? I think you mean right. The divine quality. That's that's what uh, what was added with the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC. But the helix items are also on that rarity. Uh, it's this one, the silver smasher. So if you like do some heavy hits, you l you you have this like sunbeam go down on enemies. It's pretty crazy. I hope we can still make it to the to the um, sort of patrol that I already have. Tom van Stam IGN. Wow, who is that? I have no idea, but I I appreciate your prime sub there, Tom. When is AC Mirage gameplay? I've said it multiple times now on the channel, on the YouTube channel. Fandango! There we go. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, I think it's like uh, May, June. Like Ubisoft already said in an internal memo. Oh, I, I will show you the mechanical, uh, the robo di uh, sort of mounts and chicken, robo chicken in a second. But first, let's use our eyes. Let's use our beam to burn some people and then uh, have a light beam also come down. Oh, wow. Okay, it was pretty good. This guy does not like my uh, my fire, my eyes. Two, three. So this is at red right now. It doesn't do any damage, but it will like burn almost every enemy. I think there's a cooldown on it as well. Hey guys. Oh wow. I can't aim. Okay, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. Why they keep giving armor while they can just make a new game plus mode instead? Well, Shade Liquid, that's of course completely different. You have the art team, you have people making the armor and making a new game plus mode is of course a totally different ball game. Um, but yeah, I do agree that it kind of sucks that we have, but they released quite a lot of armors and, and things with the latest update, with the final update. But there's nothing to use it on. We of course had the, the small sort of Mirage crossover mission, which was only 30 minutes. And there were there was no combat in the, fi uh, the last chapter, so I agree with that. And that's why I'm just uh, going to Frankia all the time and murdering uh, these very annoying guys that stand in a line. Oh, I do feel like, I, and I don't, I don't think it's true, but it does feel like the Uni Beam from uh, Iron Man, which is still, again, it was the previous armor set or previous iteration of this armor set. Felt like the radius was a bit larger. It was, by the way, part of the plan, so I could like show you the eye beam again. I want to thank Project 027 for the Velociraptor Raptor member. Appreciate you and like your black flag image right there. That's very cool. Did you claim your free item yet, Darkla? You are a genius. 
We, of course, love free items over here. So let's claim it. Let's open the loot box. Is everyone ready? No! Huh? No! I think Ubisoft was like, no free item for you. No free item for you. Okay, that sucks. Can we, like, try again? Okay, now the whole store isn't working anymore. My game froze. What the heck is this armor? Says Lucius. Well, again, this is the Iron Man armor that I showed you multiple times. Also in shorts, TikToks, whatever. Um, but... Probably they felt the heat from Marvel or maybe they got even reached out by Marvel or Disney or whatever. And they were like, hey, this looks uh, too similar to Tony Stark. Change it, please. Uh, and this is not like a... Okay, there we go. We're back. Can I now get the free item? I think I think I I think they think that I already claimed it, but I did not. Do I have like a new item? Okay, I have like a new. Okay, that's uh, okay. No, I think I uh, I think I got uh, because the game froze or something. I maybe I got the free item, but that I don't know what it is. That we did not see the animation. But yeah, either way, we kind of got screwed. So sorry, Dark Law. No free item. We will have to check back next week. You broke it, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go from the other angle. Because what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm like standing too high up. So we're placing the panda over here. We get off our mount. And then it's eyeball time. Oh! Yeah, okay. Everyone is burning now. We got some fireworks. Okay, let's do the the big laser beam again. Two. Three. So it sucks that it doesn't like have a, a big... Um, it doesn't do any damage. It just like applies the fire effect. So that kind of sucks. Let's see what these new weapons were uh, capable of. We got the the Gore Ripper and we got the uh, Kela Glo Okay, I, I will not pronounce that. I'm butchering that name already. The Saw rips through armor when using the Venge of Thor ability. So this is just a very good Venge of Thor ability. You want to use this in the main hand. The blade vibrates after a kick of tear, increasing <laughs> Increasing attack speed, critical chance, and then by quite a lot. I'm blocking it with my face, but uh, trust me, it's quite a lot. Okay, so we're going to use the kick of tear. Where are you at? This one. Uh, we're doing it on the harpoon. Okay, so we have to use this one. So it's going through armor. Should be way more powerful. Not really seeing it though. Not really seeing it. Okay, we got the advanced mechanical set. From close by. For anyone who was curious. Okay, and we can have and we have the um, the kick of tear as well. Let's see if we can kick them. Yeah, okay, don't run away. Okay, we now got some extra crit chance. Crit damage. Oh, wow. Okay, look. Oh. It's also glowing now. So then you know that the perk is active. After doing a kick of tear. It, it should disappear in like... Uh, it, it's active for quite a long time, which is kind of cool. Blade, and it's yellow again. It's yellow again. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, 
Okay, we cleared it. High five. What do you still need for the plats? Every region and some other things like the fire. Uh, I'm going back to England and we're gonna we're gonna showcase the mount and stuff. And uh, I know I did not complete the rebel mission, but I already have like enough currency, nothing to buy, so no worries about that. Um, and yeah, I have to like light some brassiers. I have to like. I basically just have to focus on clearing every region and I have to fish. I think that's that those are the two things that I still need to do. What is the best DLC says Cool Ken? Well, uh, I would say Dawn of Ragnarok. Although compared to the previous uh, two games in particular, I think uh, the Fallout DLC uh, hey, yeah, wasn't as good, sadly. I really hope that uh, Red delivers again. But yeah, the, the biggest problem was that just None of the DLCs were made by the core team. While um, the hidden ones from Origins and of course the Fate of Lens from Odyssey were made by the core team. So then you always see that they like apply the learnings while if it's like a separate team or like a, a team that wasn't like in charge of the game making a DLC, you don't see a lot of iteration. You, you see mostly just the same stuff with some new content. I love this bird skin, by the way. It's from the Monster Hunter pack. Okay, but we're going to change that for a Robo Chicken. And again, that hammer that I showed you with the laser beam coming out of the sky, it's a Dreda. So, if you're still playing, have some Opal left over, I would recommend that one. Yor, do you think we will get the same things in Mirage as for extras, arm like armor sets, cosmetics, or some different things? Um... In the, play, at the, in the PlayStation Store sort of uh, page, they already showed... Okay, we got the, the Horizon Mount. It's uh, it's blinding me. And we got a, a Robo Chicken. Take Let's care. Uh, summon it. Strider, hello. I think this one is kind of crazy. So they added some of the orange touches to it. But it does fit the armor now more than uh, with the Iron Man armor. But yeah, in the Mirage sort of uh, store page on PlayStation, they actually... Let's start over here. Clear some of the mysteries and stuff. They actually um, said that it would include in-game purchases. So I asked them around the reveal, so in September, if there would be like item packs. Because we know the Prince of Persia set is gonna be a deluxe edition item pack. And it has like a mount, weapons. It, it basically looks like a, a Assassin's Creed item pack. So this is the, the Robo Chicken we got. So, but I don't think there will be a Helix store because there won't be any post-launch content for Mirage unless they changed it. Like, unless they're like, why not? People will probably buy it, why not do it? I at least hope that it doesn't impact the, the cool outfits and stuff that we can find in the game. Um, that there are only like a few outfits you can earn in the game and then the rest is in the shop. Let's not hope that that's the case. I want to thank uh, Styx there for the donation. So questions out of the Hogwarts Legacy Jedi Survivor Burning Shore. What are you the most looking forward to? Thanks a lot for your $10 donation. That's a lot. Appreciate it a lot. Out of Hogwarts Legacy Jedi Survivor and Burning Shores. What are you looking forward to the most? Damn, that's a tough question. I think I'm going for Hogwarts Legacy. Because that's the newer game of the bunch. If that makes sense. Like, um... I kind of know what I can expect from Jedi Survivor. I'm gonna love it. I'm probably, I think, when it's all said and done, I think I will like Jedi Survivor the most. But I'm like also someone who likes to be surprised and likes to see a new game and new mechanics and stuff. And Jedi Survivor will, of course, just like really improve and add uh, onto the very cool blueprint that they already established with Fallen Order. While, um, while I think that uh, Hogwarts Legacy is a completely new game. Of course, we had Harry Potter games in the past, but there's nothing you can really compare it to. So I'm just mostly curious. Uh, I just think that that's mostly going to be a new experience. And of course, Burning Shores will be a DLC. So I will love that as well. 
Unless they go like in a really, really crazy direction. I love the fact that it takes place after the ending, so we can probably still um, yeah learn a lot, a lot more about the game. Let's get the scroll first, so I can keep talking for a second. But uh, yeah, if if I should rate it, I think it's gonna be Hogwarts Legacy One in terms of like what I'm looking forward to. Hogwarts Legacy One, Jedi Survivor, Burning Shores DLC. But to be fair. I'm looking forward to all of them. Like, I can't wait. It's going to be kind of crazy. And to be fair, there is another game that I can't talk about yet. That I've uh, been uh, trying. That I'm loving way more than I thought. So, uh, you will hear more about that soon. So, yeah. It's kind of... Uh, 2023 is uh, starting off with a bang. And it's uh, not slowing down. We, of course, saw the, there's like a Justice League image that leaked right now it, it it really shows that they're going for the sort of live service approach a lot of people are like i don't want that from rocksteady which i get but i'm personally like i've been damn where the heck is this scroll lol i thought it was like up there but it's like bait okay that was kind of strange but I'm personally sometimes in the where, in the mood where I'm like not really like in the mood to follow a story or something. But I I I would be like like grinding away at a battle pass, and it seems that Suicide Squad kills Just League has a battle pass. You've returned. What a pleasure to see you again. I will fly with you. Hey, we have a different uh, like to make sound as well when wearing the helmet. With a wager, I mean. Of course, we're gonna go for the uh, big bad. My wager. Black Myth Wukong, summer 2024. It, uh, it's not coming this year anymore. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. Okay, I'm blocking this. Let me uh, check it, go to this. I think we're going for this one. Words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good as with my lips as I am with my tongue. That's a good one. I'm the greatest lover and flighter as well. No, but your words, good sir, I'm far from stung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could sleep more sweet nothing. I think it's like good that they ear. give Though some sort of like reaction that you know, oh, I chose the right option. But, but it's kind of weird that your opponent is like, show. yes! I will happily show. Well, I doubt you can take me, I will give you a go. You are not as appealing, and this I say no. Well, I fill you with lust, sir. You fill me with fear. Okay. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. I think so, we got the uh, fool. what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than uh, words? Okay, this is up to you, Chet. What should I do? It seems that he is like really into my uh, Robo cosplay. So, uh, let's go. That looks like Anthem, not Iron Man. I know, like, it was an Iron Man armor at first. Like, you know the story, right? They made an Iron Man armor, it got leaked, people picked it up. Suddenly, in the game files, they changed it to whatever this is. Go for it with the helmet on. Okay, we got multiple say- We got El Kashi saying no. Get out of here. Okay, we got- we got 50-50. You know, saying no. I think more more people are gonna say no. But I think he never saw like a per a person with this freaking. This looks like a bad mod. Like I agree. Like a lot of people are like, I like this more than the armor than the previous Iron Man armor look. Okay, we got more people saying no. No, don't. It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only. It was just a game. Yes. Friendly banter. It's been a true pleasure. Looks like a Star Wars trooper. <gasps> it does. It kind of does. So yeah, we have to of course do that. Get all the... So yeah, that, that's... that's uh, As you can see, Time, and I still need uh, quite some... Uh, 
some icons here. But like, if we stream every week, we will get there. I, I just don't know if we will. Like, that's kind of the thing. But I might just like play a. I, I just don't know when I can. Like, there's. I really think like. The the sort of review season has already kind of started. Which is, I know sounds crazy because it's only January. But yeah, I don't know when I will have the proper time to... Uh... Okay, he's a god. He is a god. He's like, did I just... Did... What? What? Did you... what? What just happened? Haha, <laughs> we skipped the puzzle. Good luck with that. <laughs> that has been in the game since launch. They never patched it. Oh no, I'm scared for this. Let's get the treasure map. Okay. Can we do uh, follow road, go to map market? Seems like we can. What do you think of The Last of Us Episode 1? Who else watched The Last of Us Episode 1? Uh, I was uh, lucky enough to watch it like at a press event, only the first episode, so on a big screen. and. It's like a freaking short, especially that first part. I, I, I especially loved the first part. If you, of course, know the game, that's the part in uh, 2003, like before the, uh, the... Basically, Outbreak Day, right, when it happens. They, like, added so much stuff to that, which I loved. Like, I always thought the part in the game, and I get why, because there's not a lot of gameplay in that part. Um, but it was kind of short always in the game, like 15 minutes or so. And now in the movie, or in the TV show, it's like 45 minutes, which is kind of crazy. So I really, really like that. Okay, we can like do this cursed uh, um, um, thing as well. Um, and then it kind of went down for me. They, of course, had to establish the apocalypse sort of world. And then near the end, I, I was into it again. But it's... It's just a weird feeling, and I know a lot of people that, for example, read a lot of books and then a freaking Netflix show or a movie comes out that is based on those books. Then you probably have the similar feeling where you're in your head kind of thinking, okay, what's going to be the cliffhanger for, the, for this episode because I basically know what's going to happen. And I had that a lot with this. And I, like, it was like pretty obvious what it was going to be. So... It's just kind of weird. I think we have to go into the cave. Uh, it's kind of weird to watch a show where you already know the story. Because they really are like following. Which is, I think is good. I think it's good to be faithful to the game. And that makes it also extra cool, I think, to... Uh, that they add a lot of stuff. Okay, we have to remove this. There's a lot of extra world building. So yeah, I loved it. Uh, I can't wait for the second episode. Um... Hearing from people that already watched everything, like because they were like press or something, uh, that it only gets better and that there's like a lot of like cool twists um, compared to the game, which I think is cool, uh, which I think could be exciting. While we're entering this, uh, oh, 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 this horror cave. But yeah, it, it still feels weird. Like I already probably f can guess what the cliffhanger for the next episode will be. Oh, I'm eating the... Oh, ne no! We joined this guy who's also dead. Oh, that particular Cairn is the hardest. I hate Cairns. Steady Cousin, good to see you. I thought The Last of Us was, v was good. I can't wait for next Sunday. Yeah. Everyone in the US can watch it on Sunday. We in the Netherlands and just everywhere else in Europe. Oh my god, I'm over here now. Uh, I have to wait till Monday. But yeah, I liked it a lot as well. I thought it was uh, very well done. Um, although... Like, I, it, yeah, I don't know. It just feels kind of weird to already know exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> But it overall feels because, of course, the I think the TV show has like nine episodes or something. Um, so it will be like nine hours, nine hours plus. And I don't think the game has like nine hours of cutscenes. So they're really going to, I think, a lot of things that you hear mentioned in the game, they're actually going to explore that with real scenes in the show. And I think that's, that's the most exciting part for me. <laughs> Uh, 
And it makes me kind of like interested in a Horizon t TV show even more. If it's like gonna be the same quality. Should have done this. The first time. And let's not eat the berries. Okay, we don't even have to go there. Where is the, the cursed icon? Oh, it is here. Oh, it's over there. Ah, okay, now we can like shoot it. Yeah! Can I like um, go out via this area? What? I noticed the cameo at the beginning because the older guy is from the mummy. Nice. Yeah, I thought overall the, the, the really cool part with the neighbors. Um, actually, like, like that, that's what you're overall really seeing. They're, they're really, um, yeah, giving some extra, like, screen time and connection to, uh, between characters. So that when the inevitable thing happens that we all know is gonna happen, uh, it will actually have a bigger impact. So I think that's uh, pretty cool, too. I think in the Order 1886 TV show would be cool. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, they're even doing a Days Gone TV show. So, maybe, like, when Sony is like, damn, we're out of games that we can, like, make movies and TV shows on. Let's return to the Order. Because, yeah, that world looks awesome. And I think it could be really, really cool for a TV show, for sure. Maybe then, then we will finally know what, ha what happened. Because, of course, that game ended on a cliffhanger. I felt kind of like uh, ripped off at the ending of that game. Especially because the boss fight felt like a, a mid-boss fight. Hello? We have to like, climb up even more. But yeah, I think it would be perfect. Because the gameplay was not that great from, from that game. Just the world and the, the graphics were amazing. How do you get the panda and the tiger? I, I just don't know about the panda. Is it like a... Okay, there's like a mystery there, I guess. The panda is a mystery to me. The panda is a freaking mystery to me. I think the tiger is a helix mount. Or is this also like... Oh no, you got like a mystery over here. Anthem guy. What do we have to put Door. things on fire? Tell us what happened. I miss Wilfred. They're true. A legendary picked warrior who can rip a wolf apart with his bare hands. You saw him? <sighs> I don't know what we saw. Not exactly. But there's something up there. Archibald held up his torch all brave like after lighting the fire. The next thing we know, his head dropped to his feet. We ran. Should we at least fetch his body? Huh. You can. I won't go back up that cursed mountain for all Okay, we will try. Strider Mount, I need you. Okay, uh, the, uh, Strider Mount was already checking. Uh, sounds like a bear or something. Probably uh, the flickering cloud there. <laughs> Stormtrooper with a bow, nice. Yeah, there are certainly no guns in the game. We do have the the, the sort of uh, Abstergo uh, gun, but that of course doesn't fire. Hello? Oh, there's something there. That's oh, like a scare. Oh, we have to light it on fire. Kind of weird seeing the hidden blade on this armor. Speak your name, warrior. Have it your way. Okay, no voice lines. Yeah, my purpose was to die for me. 
Oh, oh damn, this guy's stuff. Oh damn. Oh wait. Oh, ah! But he doesn't like my laser beam. Okay, laser beam and uh, was enough. That was a pretty tough fight. I like it when these mysteries have like a cool fight. But yeah, we're we're, we're not really getting there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's get some artifacts. Oh, we got some mushrooms right there. Let's uh, get some artifacts. The panda from the Chinese Lunar Near Year set. Is that really from the Chinese Lunar Near Year set? Because I think it's like a... Uh, I think they had like a, a different weapon. Chinese... Chinese Lunar New Year set AZ4. No, it had like a different mount. It like a, it had like a, a panther or something. No, no, that's Guardius. It's like it's a. It, we, I, I think there's no. I think we really don't know where where the panda is from. Wolf raid. Hey, Skata, good to see you. And thanks as always for the raids. Appreciate that a lot. Good to see everyone joining. We have been uh, running around in the uh, anthem outfit. That some people like to call it. It's of course the, the changed Iron Man armor. Here we got an artifact again. Should be another one close by. We've been uh, laser beaming uh, enemies. I'm gonna... I, I like the, the white one more, but I'm gonna change to the black one now. Let's do that. I hate they didn't change the color of the weapons too. I get it. Although I think they look kind of cool on the uh, on the black uh, armor. I, I I love the look of the sword. What the heck is that sound? Play, play, play. Oh yeah, we got a new opal. I really needed that. Outfit looks wacky to be honest. Yeah, I agree. I, it's it's really not m one of my favorite armors. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I'm not digging it. I, I did love the Iron Man armor, though. So it's kind of sad that I did not, like, just change it a bit or something. That it doesn't look like he's doing... <sighs> he looks like uh, Iron Man. But still, like, kept the colors. I, I would have loved that. But yeah, I guess that wasn't enough. Of course, from Valhalla to Valhalla content. Yeah, what have you been doing in the game? Because, like, I've been uh, chipping away... On uh, some things that I still need to clear before I really got everything. Some things that I, I normally don't really like doing, but on stream I don't mind them. On stream I think they're they're actually kind of relaxing. That's always the thing with uh, w uh, with like doing uh, story content on streams. A lot of people don't want to watch that because they don't want to see spoilers, which I totally get. Like I would be in the same boat. Um. And this content is just, like, fine. And you can also just, like, keep talking while otherwise with, like, uh, different type of content. Oh, we have to probably go to the statue. Or not. What do you see, Oh, it's, like, down there. Dropping. Whee! The Flash Season 9, damn. Well, Nadal, I hope for you too. But for me, uh, I don't think I will ever watch it. I'm watching, uh, as I said multiple times, I'm watching Mr. Robot now. I'm in Season 4. And that's also the final season. Like, I don't think I would have ever started the show if it had, like, six seasons. And it would be like, damn. And it's usually a mixed bag as well. And with Mr. Robot, it actually gets better every season. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, we can like do a cursed symbol. I know what I'm about to say is off topic, Jor. But I wanted to tell you I bought a new Do Dodger Challenger 
Scatback, that's insane, Steady. No, it's cool that you let me know. How are you liking it? You use a stream more, Yor. I know, I know, I know. But, like, I wanna, like, what kind of our stream idea is, overall, is um, stream when it makes sense. When there is something new. So, that's... Maybe a new game, or uh, a new update, or anything else. Like, I think that's also the... Those streams work also the best on YouTube. But I get that streaming more is more fun, but... When I'm not streaming, it means... Or when I'm streaming, it means that I'm, like, not able to make content. But now that Dennis and Joyce are, like, taking over more and more in terms of, like, making their own types of videos... I can totally see if, like, during quieter, quieter times or other types of... Uh, I just have to find the right game, I think, as well. Can we, like, enter? I think we have to destroy the... Should we have? It's like you have to climb up here, probably, and then. Oh, damn. I hate these opal icons, like on the map. They're super annoying. Yeah, still a lot of mysteries. Oh, we actually have one close by. Let's check it out. Maybe play the older Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, it still works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I've been like tired uh, of these uh, bar doors, but uh, the three harpoon tactic still works. And it's even nicer now because of the recent skill they added where you can like turn food into an adrenaline bar. So normally when you hadn't, like you need to have three adrenaline slots, which obviously you sometimes don't have. Okay, there's a freaking... Uh, Drain gear here. Did I ever kill this one? For Odin, for Thor, for Freya, and the Valkyries, and the saggy breaches. I don't think I did. Which is kind of crazy. Did I, like, just always skip this one? Um. um. I'm just gonna like save it beforehand because I do like to. Uh, yeah. Hail, warrior! Are these wetlands your longhouse, your meat hall? This is a Drenger's ritual chamber. I am Skakehold, pledged to Ragnar Lothbrok in Huga and body. Sadly, Vikings Fala and is not Vikings. I is it not good? Take the ritual and engage I thought Vikings was really good, but I never I watched understand. that uh, show. For an opponent, the other one. you could do worse than me. Join me then in Drenga Seda. Ragnar the Abstergo skin should have been like this. Of course, that they, with the Abstergo skin, they, I, I think they also the used a lot then. of like a inspiration. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Can I not fight you? Or do we have to like do something with the. Uh oh, I have to drink this, okay. I think I never did this freaking Drenger. That's pretty cool. May you walk the future, but yeah, the sad part is they don't skill. <sighs> yeah, you hear the uh, freaking saw blade that I'm rocking. Come at me. Will you hit me? Yeah, okay. You fought well, and our journey was fair. 
Thou yours continues. Now I transcend. Awesome. Farewell. It is my turn. There's an infinite stamina glitch with this. Of poetry. There's an infinite stamina glitch with this Ranger fight, really. Your, I have a small uh, question. Can you play PS5 games on the PS4? No, <laughs> you can't. So I'm gonna load that quick save that I just made, so I at least have this drain gear on the map. What am I doing? I'm lasering people with my eyes. Your, would you love an e AC game based in the Isu times? Of course. Okay, so we got the, the Dranger still alive here. We got some uh, other things to do as well. Like, there's still a lot of mysteries, but I'm like keeping that one. I think I'm going back to Red Eye showcasing that, that item one more time. And then for next week, we have to kind of think like, there is something that I might want to stream, but I. Like. I, I want to keep the Tuesday stream going, but this is the final time that there was something new to show you in Valhalla. Of course, that doesn't have to be something new, but I like to kind of have like something cool in the thumbnail and in the title. Um, so yeah, we will we will see when we get there. For now, this was the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, one quick reminder that the really cool hammer um, from one of the item packs, I think it was. What is you? in a uh, red eye shop. I think this one is pretty great. It's uh, 150 opal probably, right? And I bought this dragon knight figurehead. We're gonna check that out because I never saw that in action. So let's uh, quickly put it on our ship here. Run! I don't know if that's I'm actually faster, but... Oh, damn. Is that it? Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. Farewell, Abel. Oh, damn. That's kind of stealing the show. So you can buy that at Red Eye right now as well. That's kind of crazy. Pretty cool. So thanks everyone for watching. See you next week at least. And we, of course, have... a many videos coming your way so uh, check that out and then starting next week we got Forspoken coming out two weeks after that we got Hogwarts Legacy coming out and then uh, the craziness kind of starts so we will have a lot of cool stuff coming and uh, I will kind of figure out what we do with the Tuesday streams I think I will still be live with Valhalla next week see you later thanks everyone for watching